What's up, everybody? It's your boy Blue Nitro. Back with a review for you guys. And today, got a brand new uh, NBA news video. And today, we're talking about Toronto Raptors again. And it's kind of a follow up from the last video where I was talking about um, how uh, two people from Raptors got cut, which were uh, Perry and Gillespie. And how I felt about that. I gave my thoughts about that in my previous video. And yeah, I was saying that wait, obviously, it was between Wayne Wright. Decker and Bonga, and I said that Wainwright and Decker should make it, and Bonga would be the odd man out, right? Saying that means, like, uh, he'd be cut from the team, no longer on the team, right? And, yeah, today we got an update about that. And I saw this from Blake Murphy. So, uh, credit goes to him. The Raptors have waived Ishmael Wainwright. He should have interest around the league as a, as a positionally versatile defender, maybe the best person I've ever met around the sport. Sam Decker makes the roster, and... Yeah, he also should include Isaac Bonga, but he uh, forgot about that. But, yeah, pretty much, the Raptors have waived Ishmael Wayne, right? So, I, I personally think this is the wrong decision. I think Bonga should, you know, just gotten waived. Like, he did not really uh, do anything. Like, he did stuff, but he did, it wasn't significant. Like, I know that Wayne Wright had good games. Like, even in the summer league, I know summer league doesn't mean much. But preseason, he was just playing good defense, game boards, you know, hustling, making threes, like I said. He's a 3 and D player, you know, very versatile. He's 6'5", you know, what, I think he's 6'5", 200 or something, I think, I don't know, something to say, like 250 or something. So he's a big guy, right, because he used to play uh, football, right, he used to play for the Bills at one point. But yeah, I just think he had a lot of potential to be like, you know, another P.J. Tucker, and he's could have been a very, very solid player. Like the Raptors, you know, we like, uh, we kind of just, you know, need three pushers. Like three and D players, you know, if you draft three and D players, a ton of them, right? Like, for example, one OG, right? He was three and D player to start off his career, even up until last year, he was kind of three and D, right? And then he developed into, you know, a really good uh, player. I'm not comparing, I'm not saying that Ishmael's going to be a really good player, like OG, like what he is right now. But I'm just saying that three and D players are very useful, you know? They're very helpful to the team. They just always fit in, right? You always, you know, there's never too many, right? They always just fit in. It's good players. And Bonga, if we're comparing Ishmael to Bonga, I just think Ishmael's better. He can shoot better than Bonga. He can, uh, what's called, rebound better than Bonga. He can play better defense than Bonga, given Bonga's tall and lengthy, right? Just Ishmael's just more of a big body. Yeah, he can just play better defense in general, just more bigger, more athletic, more mobile. And, yeah, just the playmaking, I'll give that to Bonga. I'll give the slight issue to Bonga, but, yeah. And even in the games, uh, the preseason games, uh, Ishmael was just playing better than Bonga, just, like, just flat out. And then if we're comparing this to Decker, Sam Decker, I already knew he was going to make the roster. That one was, I already knew that for sure. That one, yeah. Because Sam Decker, he's popped off in the one game. But not only that, I saw another report. If I find it, I'll put it on the screen if I can't. Oh, well. But the report was saying that um, it that uh, the Raptors also impressed with uh, Decker's, like, you know, practice, how he played in practice. That also, you know, contributed to the decision of keeping him, right, uh, waving him. So, yeah, so he must have done really good in practice well. So maybe that's why um, Ishmael, you know, got waived. Maybe he just, you know, didn't do that good in practice. Like, he did he did pretty pretty solid in um, the preseason, right? He had a few bad games, but the, the defense is always there, right? He's always trying, right? Energy guys. But, yeah, so that's kind of what I got. I mean, I don't really know how I feel about it. I just think it's a wrong decision, like, I honestly bonga like these people are just here for like the one year, right? Just the this year and then after that they're probably gonna be gone. Who knows? But yeah, like Bonga, no, nah, that was not the right decision. Like I, I feel like we just need like the more shooters the better. Like Bonga can't shoot either, in my opinion. So I just I don't really see what we were thinking here. And I don't I don't really like I don't see where Bonga even fits in our team, to be honest. But yeah, I I don't really get it. Yeah, everyone was like upset about it. To be honest, everyone was even shocked. And yeah, there's I even watched this video saying, uh, like just you know showing, uh, this interview of uh, Wayne Wright and how you know he just got very emotional and that. But besides the point, uh, Wayne Wright should probably find you know he, he should be able to find a position or a spot in their team, right? Because just very good player to be honest. He's very talented. Like I don't, I actually don't get why we you know, uh, you know dropped him. But so that's the point. I saw someone say the Rockets should pick him up. I guess just go for it. The Rockets are just, you know, not a really good team right now. They're probably going to have another bad year. But, you know, got the they got a nice little, you know, team going off there. Kevin Porter Jr., Jalen Green, uh, Christian Wood, right? So why not? 
And yeah, guys, that's all I have for the video. Uh, just yeah, hopefully uh, Wayne Wright can get a job in the NBA. You know, get on another team. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.